hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you without writing a single code how to create a CRUD inserting deleting and updating using ASP.NET MVC 5 entity framework I am creating a new project for this application go to file new project I am choosing ASP.NET web application .NET framework the version 4.6.1 and the application name is CRUD PRO click OK templates I am choosing MVC4 OK After creating the project successfully, go to Solution Explorer. In the Models folder, right click, add the option ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Click on it. The model name is CRUD Model 1. OK. I am choosing the first option EF Designer from database from the entity data model wizard. Click next. New connection. The connection property. Let's open my SQL Server Management Studio. We'll grab the connection string properties. I just opened Microsoft SQL Server 2014 and this is the server name. I'm just copying this one. Connect. After connecting to my database Charon DB and the employee table name I'm using for this example. Let's switch back to my ASP.NET project again. We'll add the server name. I'm adding my server name. Paste here. Authentication Windows authentication only. Test connection. Okay. Now I'm choosing a database now from the drop down list Charon DB is my user database click OK I'm saving connection settings in web.config file as the name Charon DB entities click next I'm choosing entity framework 6 next I'm expanding the tables I'm expanding the DB also the employee table I'm checking the employee table the model namespace Charon DB model click finish now here we got the employee entity models let's open the solution explorer after adding the ADO.NET data model to the into the models folder, go to views. See here the home folder. Delete this home default folder. Go to controllers. Expand the controllers. Right click the home controller.cs and delete the controller also. We need to create a new controller MVC file but here one important point is before adding a controller we must build the application the reason when we creating the adv.net model the web.config file settings has been changed so let's build the application before adding the mvc file template controller here build succeeded now let's go to the controllers folder right click and click controller I'm choosing MVC5 controller with views click add the employee the data context class Charon DB entities I'm leaving these checking boxes as it is only the controller name employees controller click add the 
now here we got the employees controller let's close this output go to solution explorer and notice here the employees folder is created automatically with create delete details edit and index.cshtml files now the last step is let's open the app underscore start the third option route config.cs open that open that one here the controller home is a default one instead of home we have to add our controller name which is a employees employees controller let's open the index.cshtml file let's build a solution here build succeeded now it's a testing time let's run this application on google chrome and here we got the output of the index.cshtml page which contains a create new edit details and delete let's create a new record the employee name is mark location delhi department sales and age is 28 create and notice here the last row the mark was added let's check the mark record is added or not in our database i'm executing this query see here the last row mark was added to the let's switch back to the browser we delete we delete the sam record sam delete are you sure you want to delete this of course delete and notice here in this table the sam is no more let's check in the database also i'm executing the query see here from this employee table there is no sam record so without writing a single call with the help of edivo.net entity framework we can create edit and delete the records that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos